Hello everyone, this is Susan from Three Sister Sundries. I have a little bit of a journal share today. My son asked me to make him a, well, to make his friend a junk journal because she is a hardcore journaler. She always has a journal with her. Whenever she's sitting still, she's writing. And so he thought she would love a junk journal, which she has never tried. So I found this handbook of music history. It's a really small textbook. And she is a wonderful singer. I will put a link in the description below to one of her videos. And she also is a music therapist. So I thought this would be appropriate. So for the closure, I just took apart a necklace and hooked it to these two clips so that she can completely remove it if she needs to because, like I say, she journals all the time and she needs to be able to probably fit it in a bag or a purse. I used this paper, which might look familiar. Um, I put it in my Valentine signature swap as well and some ribbon and sewed in with some craft text. My signatures, there are two. I used this music that had, or this uh, paper that had a xylophone ad. Did a little stamping. This is a flash card and some coffee dyed graph paper to make a little pocket. My son said she likes pink, so I tried to add pink here and there. And then these are really funny. These are from Seven Gypsies. Um, these little cards, and there are a whole bunch of them. They're they just uh, of assorted types. That one is a month in the life, and an ad for uh, an accordion. But it says um, enjoy life more with music, which I thought was appropriate. And then I stamped some music on a tiny piece of paper and put it in this tab. This envelope is made from a book page. They were really brittle because the book is from the 40s. Uh, but it, I think it's going to hold together. I put a little gold star. If you're my age, you probably remember getting little gold stars stuck to your forehead by your teachers when you did a good job. This is a vintage um, postal note. And this is just a little uh, tab that I glued down. This is coffee dyed paper, and I printed music staff paper from uh, just a free website onto that. It's a ukulele um, string envelope. They come in these little flat, cute envelopes, all coiled up. And I just put a piece of vintage note paper in there for her to write on. Edge punch this. Um, my other son remembered that he had heard her sing Lead Kindly Light, so I took that out of a hymn book and put that in there. This is just a ticket from an ephemera pack. And if you take off these paper clips, the center of this signature is actually a lecture typed up by the previous owner from the 40s. It's Electron Opera. I thought that was pretty cool, so I just folded that up and um, taped the two pages together for the center of that signature. And then this side of the string envelope has a little tiny, just a little tiny booklet made out of some offcuts with that cute end paper. More music staff paper. I stitched some uh, ribbon to that and made this little dangle. Again, she can take that off if it gets in her way because it's just pinned onto that lace. I did. I love this stamp. I hope you can see it. It's a little bird with a crown. And then this is also um, just a reproduction of a postcard. We live in the mountains, so we're sending her a greetings from the mountains postcard. This is just a little flip up with some fabric tape to hold it down. And I had a little, um, I had a, a little scrap of happy birthday cardstock, glued it to a index card and made this little pocket. 
more little cards. This is made from a book page. Did a little stamping and then a record player ad. And this, my son tells me, looks like um, probably a reproduction of Beethoven's handwritten music. I did a little bit of High to Shine and sewed it to some uh, baked parchment. When you bake it with nothing on it, it just sort of turns sort of brown. And this I made with a Queen and Company uh, flower. I glued it to a, one of those flat back bobby pins and then tied these little ribbons with a little bead on the ends and she can use those as bookmarks or she can just take this whole bobby pin out if it gets in her way. This is music from a textbook of my son's. Put some cute trim on it and children's writing paper. I love, love, love this tiny paper sack and I put a teeny, um, this is a game piece, well not really a piece, but part of a game. Or just tea dye paper, washi. This is a manila envelope, obviously, a bit of rickrack, and it has some <clears throat> graphy type paper for her to write on, and this little calendar card. And I found this little cut apart on a, um, a sheet of paper that I had. This is a little Heidi Swap paper clip and another flash card. And this is a little pop-up. Inside this coin envelope I have a little tiny tag that's made out of sparkly music uh, cardstock. And then a seating chart, which I thought was appropriate as she teaches in a school. And this is a tracing paper that I splotched up with a little bit more Heidi Shine and uh, Edge Punched. And more of the music staff paper, this time printed on tea dyed paper, so it's a little bit uh, smoother in color. Center of the signatures, I punched flowers out of that music paper. And this used to be a whole 12 by 12 sheet of this uh, heart cutout paper. I had this one section left, so I taped it here with washi so that it's kind of a flip up um, on top of this seating chart paper. It has, I don't know if you can see it, it has music on the hearts. And then another little flip up, another envelope with another glittery music tag. This is an envelope made from the parchment and inside I put a piece of my favorite graph paper. I don't have very much of this but I just love it. It's super thin like onion skin. Um, it's not actually graph paper but it's pretty cool. So I gave up a piece of that for Liz. And then more graph paper and the other side of that envelope with some more places to write. This is just some uh, twill tape and fabric tape and I put one of these cute little Heidi Grace heart straight pins in it. I love this stamp. I stamped this with chalk ink and I love the way it turned out. It kind of looks faded and old. And then the back of the music paper, and that is the end of the signature and the book. And I glued this uh, triple cleft to the back of the book. So that's that. If you liked this flip through, please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel. Thanks for watching.